Hi guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is a classic vertical plan with me for the week of Valentine's Day. This is in my creative journal. So if you'd like to see that, keep watching. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff here. This is the sticker book from the new Valentine's Day Happy Box. Also, this sticker book is from the new Pressed Florals Be Happy Box. Yes, we got two Be Happy Boxes recently. Yes, exciting. And this sticker book is so cute. And there's some flowers in here that I thought would be perfect for Valentine's Day. And they're these, like how pretty are these? So I had this idea to combine do like a pink and red, you know, spread for Valentine's Day. And I thought I'd combine those flowers with like some paper. And I had an idea, like first I was gonna put red cardstock all the way across the middle and put those flowers on it. But since it's like white outlines, it looked kind of weird. At least I thought it would. So instead I thought maybe, what if I just put a strip across here and then put flowers across the strip? Okay, so I'm just gonna put some Tombow adhesive on here. And this one's been acting up lately, hopefully. So I'm gonna take it like all the way across the page, including like the disc porch portion. But I think since I'm doing that, I think I don't wanna do it directly in the middle, which is gonna take me right across there. And then when I punch, it's gonna punch on here. So instead I'm gonna take it right under that hole like this it's still like gonna look kind of in the middle but it's not gonna be um i'm not gonna have to punch that part you know is that crooked a little bit but let's keep going maybe maybe it'll be okay at the end okay so then i have another strip here i'm just gonna connect this because this wasn't long enough and i just need a little bit um, so let me do that. Actually, that was too much glue. I don't want to go all the way to the end. I only want to go to the line there. So let's get an X-Acto knife and trim this bad boy right at the end. Oh. <laughs> Okay, it takes practice, like trying to get it all the way through, but not through the paper, you know? It definitely takes some practice, but I've been pretty good at, I've been doing this for a long time, so. All right. I really love this spread. I haven't used it yet, because it's not that week yet. Well, it is, but it's not that half of the week yet. It's only the beginning half. I'm filming this on February 1st, actually. Okay, and, th and this is like, I glued these together, but this is coming up a little, so I'm just gonna glue this down a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and stick some of these flowers down the middle because I just think it's gonna be fun and festive and just like really pretty, I hope anyway. So let's see what we can do. Yeah, I think that's really cute. And I think I'm gonna add some hearts too. Let's see what's in here. I think these are all clear though, yeah. But I think adding hearts around it. So we'll keep that, we'll put the flowers down first and then come back and add some hearts around the flowers. Ooh, so cute. I just like to try different stuff, you know? And this felt a little bit different to me. I don't like always try different stuff and I, I don't make it a point. Like, it's not like I have to do things differently. That's like not the point, but sometimes it's just fun. And sometimes I just wanna throw stickers down and not think about it. So I do that once in a while too. Shoot, that's like, it's so close, but maybe 
maybe if I move like both of these over, I can fit it. Or I get like two, this one's kind of big, but so are the other ones over here. Um, or I just do two on this side too. I kind of want to do three here though. If I move that over a little bit and put this guy there, is that too much? Maybe. Let's just put two here and maybe like, we'll move this one over. Or, why don't I use a bigger one? I don't know if I like the thingy hanging off the end of that one. <laughs> I mean, I can cut it off, but that's what you get when you have a pressed flower, though. All right, uh, let's just leave it. Yeah, I think just two here, and one can be big, so it's going to take up more room, and then one can be smaller, like regular. That, that makes more sense to me. Although now like there's, let me move this one over a little actually. I know perfectionism. I always tell you, you don't have to be perfect in your planner and I do mean it, but when I see something and I know I can change it and I know that I can change it easily, like it just makes me want to change it. That's just how I am. I'm unapologetically me. Okay, well, now there's more red over here. So I don't think there's an answer unless we do like three of them over here. And I think I want to do that because I just think it looks strange if I don't have the right amount of red. So bear with me. Sorry. I know you get to see me rearrange everything. But this is my process. I just ripped that one. And like, you know, people say all the time, I always have people messaging me saying like, thank you for showing your whole process because now I know I'm normal. And like, because if I just came on here and like threw things down, um, threw things down and like they looked pretty right away, you guys might be like, oh, well, why can't I do that? But really, it's not like that. <laughs> It's like, you know, like it's not like that. It takes a while sometimes and that's okay. It's all right to, to rearrange stuff there. So that looks better to me. I know that these are small over here, but I'm okay with that. That, that actually looks good. Okay. So let's put this aside, even though I didn't really put them back in the book. I'll put them back in a minute. So let's throw some hearts up in here because it is Valentine week after all, and why not be a little decorative for Valentine's week. I just love like holidays in my um, planner, you know? I'm not a huge Valentine's Day person. Like it's, it's okay, but you know, on the years that I've been alone, it makes me feel kind of bad. Um, when it shouldn't, you know, it shouldn't, it's just a day, but, um, so I'm not like a huge Valentine's day person, but I do like decorating my planner for Valentine's day because it's just usually, usually Valentine's day is like, um, kind of like whimsical ish from, and I love like whimsical spreads. So like whimsical and fun, you know, um, let me put one more over here. Okay, um, maybe like one other little one on this side. Okay, I think that's so, so cute. And we're gonna keep this pr this spread pretty simple. I'm not gonna do a whole lot. So I've been liking kind of the clean look lately before the pen, so I think we're gonna sort of continue that. But, and I'm not always gonna do that. Don't hold me to that because I am fancy. What can I say? But, I'm going to put some red in here because we have the red across the middle. And this is the monthly colorful boxes book. And there's a lot of true reds in here. So I always reach for this one. I have like three of those, but I might need to get another one just so I can have more of those true reds. And I'm going to place this in the sidebar. This is going to be my gratitude list. So I think I'll put some hearts at the top. 
um yeah so maybe some hearts like oh what about I mean, they're not really the right color though let's look in this book again or maybe an XOXO at the top that might make more sense I think let's do that unless one of these quotes let's see would be there I don't really have much room for quotes up there though if if I did I would have put like something because it is a gratitude list but I didn't think that far ahead so I'm not going to do that um let's keep within the pink and red theme not go for black this time so let's just do xoxo okay now do I want lines in here? I don't usually put lines in my classic planner in my journal. I don't typically put lines, but sometimes I do. I also have this I was thinking about using um, from the newbie happy box, but I could do like this and frame that, but I'm kind of liking the look of it like this. And I could put some up here or on the bottom, but again, I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of digging this look, so I don't think I want to do that. Um, I'm thinking about some boxes though, like pink and red boxes, I think. I think just a couple. Um, yeah, so Valentine's Day is Sunday and I want to put something on there, but let's put some boxes down on the rest of it and I I want to get some true pink boxes which are pretty hard to come by let's see if there's any I think there's a couple in this jewel tone boxes book and there's some in the pressed florals book too um, but I don't know let me just look at it First, I'm going to put these back. Uh, I want to like, let me just pull up the back in here. Sorry. Now it's really difficult because I've got all these stickers on my fingers. Stickers on my fingers. I should make a song because I've always got stickers on my fingers. If anyone wants to write me a song, I'll sing it every time I have stickers on my fingers. Actually, I might not. That would be embarrassing, but, but kind of funny too. So maybe... Um, but don't go to any trouble writing me a song because I might not sing it. Also, why would you? Because, like, <laughs> why would you? <laughs> Never mind. I'm feeling some kind of way today. All right. So this one got, this one has a little hangy thing. These got a little mangled in the process. See, they're like, we can't stick. We're not sticking. Let's put these on this page, too just to for safekeeping like this is just going to be their landing spot for a minute hanging out with those with the flowers chilling okay so back here was the true pink boxes and they do have flowers in them but I might be able to either cover that up I mean like I could leave that one in there I don't want to though I can either cover it up with something or I can white it out. Let's try let's try covering it up and we'll put I can't use these because there's like these long. The problem is this pink is gonna be different than the pink that's here too, so that's an issue. Sorry about the squeaking. Let's take a couple of these and we'll, we'll figure out what to do. I'll layer it with like a red box or something. So let's go back and get the red boxes, stickers on my hands. Oh my goodness. She knows, she knows, she knows. She was just sleeping for such a long time. Just relaxed and I'm like, okay, I can film now. I could film. But apparently that's not the case.
Let's just try to ignore her and see how long she does it. I know that looks funky, but we're going to cover that with something. How about, um, we're going to have to actually, that's not going to work. I should have brought it down more. Put a red one up here. We could decorate the boxes with that washi tape. That would be kind of cute. Um, if I put this here, well, I don't know what to do with these. Let's put this over here. We'll figure out what to do. I might like white it out. The trick is to just pretend I don't see her or hear her. Maybe that's the trick. I don't think that's the trick. Okay, so let's get another red box. Do I want another square one? Maybe. All right, let's get another big square one. And we'll turn it this way so that we can put a sticker down here instead of up on top so it's not so, like, matchy. Um... Now remember, this is my journal, so even if I put it across two days, it's okay with me because it's going to be, it's just like, that's the way I work it. I'm going to move this one now because I don't want it directly across from that one. I know, I know, call me crazy. Uh-oh, oh no. All right, then I'm not moving that one. That one's going to stay in his little place, and I'm moving this guy because he's like, I'm chill. I can, I can transfer. I'll go with the flow. This one's kind of uptight. All right, I gotta pause for a second. I'm gonna test something and whisper for a second and be quiet and then see what she does. Okay, now I'm going to be loud so that she hears me talk and <laughs> and then we'll see like it's be you guys it's because I'm talking. Did you notice that? So if I sit here at my desk super quietly, she does not do this. As soon as I start talking, she does this. So, I'm going to go quiet again and see if she calms down. No. All right, maybe it's not going to work, <laughs> but I'm telling you, it's very typical. I'm going to take this off because I'm not sure. I think I want a smaller red box. Ooh, maybe one of these, although that's not true red, but I do have a couple of these books. Let me check that out. Okay, so I got this from another monthly colorful boxes, and I could use it this way, but I can also use it like this, which I love because, like I said, this is my journal, and I write everywhere in this. So this is going to give me like room to write. And I'm going to cover up this flower because I don't really want it on there. And I know this is weird how it's going to look like that, but what I'll probably be doing is like writing around the corner like that. I'm sorry, this is hurting your ears. I'm going to take that away from her. Okay, um, let me just grab a couple more pink boxes and then something for down here, probably a quote. And then I think we will be done. I need another one this color. So that was in the jewel tone, I think, right? Yeah. And also like, I know I need to put something on Valentine's Day, but I'll probably do that after the pen. Like while I'm filling it out during the week. Maybe I'll just put this on here. And then like something for down there. How about I do this?
I'm going to white out that little corner because it's, um, it's pretty dark under that. Probably should have done up there too. That's cute. Look at that. Aw, cute. It kind of makes me want to use another one that says love. Let me see if there's a little pink one. I mean a little um, light pink one. No, I guess there's not light pink in this. Never mind. Um, it's looking really cute. So let's just go back into that Valentine sticker book and add a couple of final touches here, and then we'll be done. Um, we, I think I want another XOXO somewhere because, you know, kisses and maybe one of these little envelopes super cute I'll probably do some doodles this week in here next week I mean I'll just right there in that little space and I think I'm gonna be doing a video soon about my process of journaling in this classic happy planner um, because people have a lot of questions about it I think it's really, but basically, I haven't done a video because I don't really know what to say because it's basically just get everything out of your head and write it on paper, you know what I mean? Just like write whatever comes to mind. There are no rules. There are definitely no rules when it comes to this kind of stuff. But I can maybe make a video. Let me know in the comments if it's something that interests you, if you've seen my after the pen photos and like want to know kind of my process. I could try to do a video on that. Let's put it in this space there. Okay, now I wanna like, like I said, I want like a little quote down there and I'll probably use one of these. Fill your heart with love. Oh, what a beautiful life, fall in love with today. This one seems to fit the space. So let's put this here. And then are there little hearts that could go next to it maybe? Let's see. Yeah, let's just put a couple little guys here. And on the other side, is there another one? No, but I can cut, I can cut one. Let's just put some down there. I think that's good. Let me just take a step back for a second and look at this baby. It's so pretty. I really like it. Okay, yeah, I think I'm satisfied with it. Um, maybe I should put something that says Valentine's Day, but I feel like, is there anything in here that says that? Mm -hmm. Let me put another XOXO up here. And then probably what I'll do, um, this is just gonna mark it like for now. And then what I'll do like after the pen, like I said, is I'm gonna write, I'll probably like letter something here about Valentine's Day. Um, I'll probably letter Valentine's Day somewhere, like maybe down here or something. Um, I'm in love with it. So I hope you guys like it too. And um, yeah, if you're not subscribed yet and you like my videos, I'd appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button. You have no idea how much it would help me out if you did that. It's just a little thing and I'd really appreciate it. Also, hitting the like button always helps me out. If you do like a video, like, you know, I would appreciate that. I have a sticker here on my hand, I don't know why. Um, should I put it down? No. Um, I would appreciate it because like, it just makes me happy to see when it gets a lot of likes. I mean, it's not like crucial, but it always helps. And stay tuned for Doodle of the Day. We got some Valentine's doodles coming at you this week. So I will see you in my next one. Take care, bye.